Wow. Brother Mac in the hook, killing it. Track we laying down called Imagine, Heaven on Earth. Uh, R. Kaylin King, LP, produced by DJ Don Key. For us, just the goat at the boards. It's gonna be crazy. Featuring Arkansas Boy and Brother Mac. Are we? We gonna double these, right? Or do we do we usually double them? Okay, we can do that. Whatever you want to do. My phone fucked up right now, man. It's cracks and table. Jeez, they're playing in the air right there. Yes, sir. Man. Yes, sir. Our market hasn't been broken. We're in a time where the bar is so low. Mediocrity is championed. Creativity, outside the box thinking, is frowned upon. The things that I'm touching on, the things that I'm speaking about, a lot of taboo things. You know, there are certain things that artists are scared to touch or won't go near it with a 10-foot pole. And I went head first into touching on some of these things. It's honest, it's transparent, it's gonna touch you emotionally. It's gonna make you think, it's gonna make you feel. And that's what a lot of music is missing today, especially in hip hop. They're not connecting. They're rapping, they're talking to the audience, but they're not connecting. And I really feel like with this project, I, I connected, I connected. Man, we just had a dope session. You know what I'm saying? The Rod of God, Arkansas Bo, King, Mr. Jennings, Arkansas Bo Sr. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shout out to Brother Mac, shout out to Ferocious, shout out to Ricky D. You know what I'm saying? We just dropped, uh, we just laid down the vocals for uh, a track that's gonna be in the album called Imagine, Heaven on Earth, featuring Arkansas Bo and Brother Mac. Dope song produced by D uh, Darren Key. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I'm excited. And uh, I can't wait, you know, to hit y'all off with it. 2022, we're gonna, we're gonna get it in. Hopefully by the time y'all see this, it'll be out. So, you know, but uh, salute to Arkansas Bowl, a true legend. You know, came through and blessed me, I'm humble. Yeah, you know man. what I'm saying? Just honored to have a, you know, a track with this brother on it. But this this one right here most special though, cause it's just me and you facts, on it. Facts, you know facts, 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 facts. <laughs> My guy. For life, for life, man. Forever, forever, even after yo, this. Yo, man, I got to tell y'all. I got to tell y'all about this nigga, man. Y'all wouldn't have never heard you were a star on 96.5 if it wasn't for him. And I'm just, I'm going to just leave it like that. And thank you, brother. Thank Pleasure you. was all mine. You know what I mean? Pleasure was all mine, yeah, yeah, King. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pleasure. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he said, he called me a king. I'm just a gesture. <laughs> <laughs>
Hey man, we out here at the Juneteenth celebration. Southside, Roddy G.O.D., King Larry Lucky. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Metro yeah. West Media. Got my guys here, man. Got my man. Hey, Broderick, representing Creative Dimensions. What's going on, bro? Right, let them know who he is and what you got going on Yo, out here. Bro. My name is Broderick, man, aka Sauce God. This is Creative Dimensions, man. My guy represented to yeah. the fullest right you know here. Saying? Yeah. Just a local brand, man. We doing what we can. A shout out to my guys for representing for us, man. Yeah. Yeah, we got the router right, man. You know what I'm about? You already Road know it. this here. Metro Media. Router guy. Tell them what you know. Throwback to Beast, AKA Bobby Lee Swagger. Mr. Yeah, yeah. We supporting black and everything about that. It's about that bread, baby. You don't know what it is. You know what I'm saying? What he said? What he said? What y'all doing? I'm sitting with myself. You know he got Here it is, You know he got some of my videography. I'm Bobby Sykes. I'm. Suiting booty, oh. suiting booty legend <laughs> from the south end with my homeboy DC man. Hey, little rock bread, little rock grown, little rock feet. Hey, the ride of God. I'm on the south side, Juneteenth historic celebrations. But listen, I'm with my sister. I'm talking about circuit judge elect. Yes. Latanya Lair Austin Honorable. Just one. Yes. Big deal for the rock. Big deal for the city. It's a beautiful thing. Running into DC, we go like way, 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 way back. And it's been love from the moment I met him. Uh, he's been my brother ever since then. He stepped in for the campaign, did some things I asked him to do, and what can I say? We pulled it off. This was the third time around, but when you get the right folks around you <laughs> and get them working for you, man. And the beautiful thing about this win is, y'all, this one came from the people. My, every vote I got came before I pa because I pounded this pavement. And you all had enough respect for me and enough trust in me to know I could do the job, so I appreciate you. And this dude right here, Forever have a place in my heart. I love you guys. I love you. On your top of prayer with my man, Carl Vault, CEO, the boss of that clothing line. They laced me up several times, you know what I'm saying? Number love for my bro. I got a clothing line on your top of pearl, and I've been pushing there probably about three years. And uh this is my guy, this big bro right here. For sure. I ain't gonna hold you with the family, man. Congratulations on everything, baby. Hey, legendary Mac Fresh. Oh, man. Hey, he's featured on my album on a song called Queen. Dope. Be looking for that. You know what I'm saying? Mac Willis, aka Mac Fresh, Young Fresh Clothing. Legendary music artist. I just said Little Rock of Arkansas, but in the music game, period. Straight, real rap. Talking about that, uh, bubblegum. Not that we wear our jeans too tight like our uh, girl. I'm talking about straight hip hop, something with a message gonna uplift your soul and spirit. You know, it's a little gospel in there too. Hey, I love DC. Love you too, fam. Straight legend. He gonna uplift and encourage everybody. Bro, one day you get the world gonna know DC. I ride a guy. All right, love. That will forever be a special moment to me. You know, to 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 represent what Juneteenth stands for, you know, and to put it against the backdrop of what's happening now in this country and just to take a moment and really just embrace that. And to walk out there to the Juneteenth uh, celebration today, there aren't really any words. It was so much love. It's beautiful to see my people all together like that. And you know, and when I went out there today, I wasn't alone. You know, I had my brothers with me. You know, Metro West Media was out there with me. And you know, they were white guys, you know, walking amongst Chocolate City out there. But you know, no matter where you go, if you really, it'll show. And they were treated no different than I was. And it was a beautiful thing. That's what it's all about. Love, celebration, unity, family, straight vibe. And it was beautiful, but I was, I was blown away by all of the outpouring of love and just the whole entire vibe and the whole entire energy out there it was beautiful. Tonight, it's almost like a family affair. Good energy, great people, and they came out to support what I was doing. We had fun, it was beautiful, it was positive. Everyone 
just gave their energy. They just poured into it, and that moment was pretty amazing. It was humbling, and you know, I'm, I'm deeply grateful. And we we turned up. It was amazing. Now, this is my guy DC. I've been knowing DC for well over 20 years. <laughs> like this is my guy. Ten queens took time out of their day from different walks of life and came to support what I was doing. To have all of them, them in that room, different ages, you know, different shades, different backgrounds, and to see all of them in the room together, all politicking with each other, lifting each other up. It was a moment where I just literally had to stop what I was doing and just sit back and take that in. And it was just, it was just a humble moment. It's something that I won't forget, and I know that it translated. It was just so effortless. It was seamless, the way that it just, everything just flowed. I've never seen anything. I've never been a part of anything like that. What's up, world? It's your man, the ride of G.O.D., the ride of God. We're on the set of my new music video for my upcoming single called Queen, produced by Ferocious and uh, featuring Nisha Ree and Mac Fresh. Yeah, it's gonna be on the upcoming album, Arc Alien King. I'm excited. I can't wait for y'all to hear it. Worked hard on this album. Coming soon. And uh, there'll be more. But in the meantime, again, on the set of Queen video, the ride of G.O.D. featuring Nisha Ree, Mac Fresh, and all of the Queens, Arkansas's best. They showed up and showed out. Salute to all the Queens. I love y'all. Nisha Ree, her spirit in that hook just gave the song, oh, it just took it to another level. And, and by the way, that's my niece. You know, that's my brother's daughter, you know, and, and she's my heart. You know, I was so happy for her, you know. She's, this is something that she's been waiting on to do a song with her uncle. And she's also, you know, she's a part of my, my, my movement, R.K. Lynn International. Still, I'm always inspired by her because she's such a warrior. She inspires me in ways that she'll never know. This is literally my best body of work that I've ever put out, period, period. It's my best shit. And this is the most confident I feel about anything that I've ever recorded. I think this is just the beginning of the next phase of whatever it is that he wants me to do. You know, Larry, King Larry, Lucky, Stacy P, Nisha Ree, King Trav. It's about to be daytime, and I'm gonna be right there with them every step of the way. But no, nah, I, I don't think I'm done. I think I'm just going to another phase of this shit.